Columns of smoke were seen rising in the Gaza Strip on Wednesday, as Israeli military tanks patrolled the border area in southern Israel. Israel is still at war in Gaza more than a year after Hamas' attack, in which some 1,200 people were killed, mostly civilians, and another 250 were abducted. Around 100 captives are still being held in Gaza, about a third of whom are believed to be dead. Israel has been carrying out a major operation for more than a week in Jabalia, an urban refugee camp in northern Gaza dating back to the 1948 war surrounding Israel's creation. Israeli forces have repeatedly returned to Jabalia and other areas after saying that Hamas militants had regrouped. Hospitals have received around 350 bodies since the offensive there began on OC6, according to Dr. Monir al bursh the Director General of Gaza's Health Ministry. He told the Associated Press that more than half the dead were women and children, and that many bodies remain in the streets and under the rubble, with rescue teams unable to reach them because of Israeli strikes. Entire families have disappeared, he said. Israel's offensive in Gaza has killed over 42,000 people, according to the health ministry, which does not say how many were fighters but says more than half were women and children. The offensive has left large areas in ruins and displaced around 90% of Gaza's population of 2.3 million people, forcing hundreds of thousands into crowded tent camps or schools turned shelters. The Israeli military said on Monday that forces operating in southern Lebanon had uncovered an 800-meter-long underground compound that served as a command center for Hezbollah's Radwan forces. A video released by the army shows various weapons and ammunitions that it says were stored inside the tunnel, including helicopter-fired missiles and mortar shells, as well as motorcycles and living quarters that include beds and a kitchen stocked with food and supplies. The army's chief spokesman, Rear Admiral Daniel Haggery, who appears in the video, says the tunnel is located under a house in a Shia village a couple of kilometers from Israel's border, and that the weapons were stored there as part of a planned raid on northern Israel. The military said that during the raid, troops engaged in an encounter with a Hezbollah militant hiding out in the tunnel, who it said was later killed by an airstrike. 
Israeli leaders and its military have for years accused Hezbollah of hiding weapons and fighters inside homes and other civilian structures in border villages. The army has mobilized thousands of troops for what it says is a limited operation to dismantle Hezbollah's military infrastructure along the border. It says it has killed hundreds of Hezbollah fighters. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets, missiles and drones into Israel over the past year, killing more than 60 people, although Israel says most have been intercepted by its air defense systems or hit open areas. In Lebanon, some 2,300 people have been killed by Israeli strikes since last October, according to the country's health ministry. More than three-quarters of the deaths occurred in the past month. Hezbollah, an ally of Hamas, has vowed to keep up its attacks on Israel until there is a ceasefire in Gaza. We're now in the bunker uh, that we found underneath a Lebanese house in a Shia village only a couple of kilometers from our border. This bunker was ready for Radwan forces, for a battalion of Radwan forces to enter into this bunker and do a raid into Israel and do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. They were planned with the motorcycles here to go to Kiryat Shmona, to Iftach, to villages and uh, positions inside Israel and conduct a massacre. They were only here a couple of days ago. In those beds with those weapons here, we found the fresh coffee and food here in this compound, underneath the Lebanese village, underneath the Shia house. This wasn't supposed to be here. 1701 should have prevented it. We need to impose a 1701, a fully imposed 1701, this area, so Hezbollah can never be next to our border with such infrastructures that can do a conquer Galilee plan like he planned. Hassan Asala, this ruthless terrorist that we eliminated, that is responsible for the deaths of many people, not just Israelis, Germans, Americans, French and others, the world is a better place without Hezbollah. The world is a better place without Nasrallah. Nasrallah sought, he understand Israel. He was wrong and he was eliminated. And all our enemies should know, whether they are close or far away in Iran, they should know that we are determined. We are determined to supply security and safety to our citizens. We have only two missions, to bring our citizens back home next to the border in safety and security and to bring back home 101 hostages that are being held in ruthless conditions in Gaza.